as well as the obedience to the rider, the horse has got to be fit to run cross countries, but it's still got to be relaxed. Um, and with photographers, as we've just seen there in the background, it's even more of a distraction for the horse. Um, but here with Zara on Toy Town, um, the horse is swinging from the rider's legs. And again, into extended trot, he's covering the ground, he's showing how active he is and how obedient he is to the rider. It's when you do the training for the dressage, it's all that and the balance and the understanding that helps you when you get to the cross country phase. Zara Phillips taking some last minute advice from her father for her four star cross country debut. Uh, very excited. Um, it's uh, always been me coming to watch everyone else, and now I'm here. It's a bit. It's a bit strange. <laughs> and who are you happy taking advice from? And when you're walking the course, who do you look to? Uh, I'm usually quite happy walking with my father because um, I always have done and, and he's obviously got great experience. So I'm usually quite happy when I've done it with him. And in terms of the world of eventing and the people that are involved, just give us an idea of, of what you enjoy about it. Why, why do this? I think the whole relationship you have with your horse um, in eventing with the three phases um, it just has to be such a partnership um, and that's that's the special thing about it and they're so talented to have the three different phases you know um, I think it's it's just a really special relationship and and great to be involved and great to watch okay. so top 10 finish you'd be thrilled with that I guess. yeah definitely that would be um, be a great achievement for me well, an exciting moment also for us, Ian. 22-year-old Zara Phillips on her 10-year-old chestnut gelding toy town on their way. Winners of the Bramman three-star event just a year ago, but this now is the really big step up. It certainly is. As toy town comes into the arena. And a good jump over the table. Took the flag out there, but a very confident-looking jumping as they come down to the big trochaner fence with Toy Town looking a little enthusiastic about life. But Zara gets him back under control. Good jump over the trochaner, nice turn. And an easy jump over the narrow fence. Nicely away, looks to have a really good engine, Toy Town. <laughs> He's very, very sort of free galloping horse, um, a nice and sort of forward thinking but very clever there at the top of the the ramp um, Zara just softened the hands nicely and the horse was able to chip in a little stride to sort it out a little bit of a hairy one there dropped his back legs on the drop of the log at the drop but a quick recovery yes maybe as we have Zara again coming to this tricky line through the brush fences quite cautiously jumped in but boldly over the ditch and you can see the horse is having a little bit of a look wondering what's on the landing side but a big jump over the ditch and very straight over the final element over the hedge I just look how quickly Zara right record crowds here at Burley and many of them attracted by this young woman Zara Phillips as she comes down to the lower trad hatchery, Primoz Pride, the current leader, on 41.80, exactly the same score as Zara Phillips. And Zara looking pretty good at the moment, giving this horse a very professional ride, very mature looking ride. As Toy Town pops nicely into the water. Now from experience to youth. As Toy Town pops over the big drop, and although he rattled that narrow fence, you could see how straight Zara kept. Toy Town with Zara Phillips now approaching the pigsties. How are they doing on the clock? 6.20. My goodness, that's really motoring. She's absolutely flying, but the horse looks full of running. She gets them well balanced there for the pigsties. And probably the best yet through the pigsties. The turns were excellent. And Zara is certainly riding with great finesse and a lot of balance. Sets the horse up really well here. Big jump, but perhaps a fraction slow. As uh, Zara Phillips comes down to the cat's whiskers and still moving on. 
He certainly looks fit, this horse. He's making Zara have to work to get him reorganized for the fences, but the jumping is great. And now to the Lion Bridge for Zara Phillips. And he's still fighting. He's raring to go. You'd think he was at the start of the competition, not towards the end. But she gets him well back under control. Steely determination in Zara's face. And Toy Town answering every question. Whoops, back into trot. Zara had to work hard there, but the horse responds again. Nice, confident jump into the water. Just a little rain's a little long here from Zara, and she just oversteadies him. And Toy Town thinks he's got to go back to trot, but you could see her use her arms and shoulders to say, "Come on, boy, keep going." There's a big jump here, and Zara Phillips to the last combination through the orangery. Now this turn to the picture frame. And what a tight turn that was. It was an against-the-clock show-jumping turn. Just the last to negotiate. Little look at the watch, but no need for that. She's got plenty in hand. 41.8, her dressage score. <laughs> well, not exactly the way to take the last, but she's home safe and sound. And 41.8, good enough to give her the lead because her cross-country round faster than that of Pippa Funnel. And that is truly a fantastic performance for someone so young, Ian, at the end. And there, being congratulated by our brother Peter and the Princess Royal, Zara Phillips, and she deserves all of those congratulations. A truly magnificent effort. It felt brilliant. <laughs> I don't know what it looked like. Um, I had a few little moments, but this is our first four stars, so... I'm really happy with him, and he was absolutely pulling my arms out, so... ..of Zara Phillips and Toy Town, and there is Zara Phillips, 22 years of age, so, and probably yeah, doesn't believe that she would have ever found herself in this position. Of course, her mother, the Princess Royal, won on doublet here in 1971. Her father, Captain Mark Phillips, successful here on Maid Marion in 1973. So this would be some achievement it would be truly unbelievable ian if she can go clear particularly because this horse has been known to knock one or two down let's be honest yeah i mean she zara is as they say bred for the job with having both parents having one burley but um the last time out at, in germany at the moulin three day event in july of this year he did actually have four fences down when in the lead so a lot of pressure on zara but as you say she can probably hardly believe she's in this position, and um, what a fantastic position to be in. She could have no one better on the ground than her father, Mark, um, who's got a lot of experience in the show jumping world as well as eventing. Um, so I'm sure every possible bit of training's been done to try and improve this horse's jumping and so far he looks pretty confident and the silence is eerie a head-to-head -head duel Zara Phillips down to the pedigree planks Still clear, a clear round will give her the title. Pepper out in the collecting room, hiding, not looking. Oh, no. the treble has gone, and Pepper has got the title. Two to go for Zara Phillips. This to ensure second place, and that is a brilliant, brilliant effort by her. But the champion of Burley for 2003 and the Rolex Grand Slam winner, the first winner of that title is Pippa Funnel and Primoz Pride, who is overcome and is not just crying, the tears are rolling down her. You've got to admire Zara for that. That was a great round by her, one of her best show jumping rounds, if not her best. Fantastic round. What a cool head on a young set of shoulders. Brilliant. And in spite of having a pole down, she didn't panic and managed to jump the last two fences. And that's 
is so nice to see, but there are the facts and figures by a single fence. Pippa Funnel has prevailed. Zara Phillips, a brilliant second with Andrew Nicholson in third place. Well, Pippa, I think probably only now do you realise how much pressure you've been under. I just, just shattered, but God, he was jumping and... I, it, I mean, it's, it's just all the pressure, the build-up, and it's just that final re relief and huge weight off my shoulders. I mean, it still hasn't really sunk in, but, God, what a horse. I mean, you know, he's only a 10-year-old and winning two big ones in the same year, and I really thought, coming into here, you know, with the others going, having slight minor problem with the others, but he made up for it. And before you went in, I mean, the pressure of knowing that a mistake could cost you a quarter of a million dollars, I just think it's something you never, ever want to go through again. I don't think I ever want to go through it again. The build-up and, um, you know, I feel as though I've aged at least, well, I thought 10 years up till yesterday and I think another five years today and, and um, somehow I managed to keep it together and William was absolutely brilliant and obviously I've got so many people behind me and so many great mates and I just so wanted it for them as well and, and, and the horse deserves it. Absolutely and you were faultless and then you had to sit and watch as Zara went in, in the lead and did a brilliant job on a horse that's not a great show jumper, well done. Thank you. I mean just one mistake and she owes you. <laughs> I mean I would just have to say from my point of view all credit to Zara because for someone your young age to cut to come and do their first four star and us old people we never had the pressure like Zara's had it on her and yeah I mean I think you took the some of the press media away from me which which helped but I mean she did a fantastic job and I'm glad people like you are coming up through because I can then retire happily. Oh, you, <laughs> must be you, you, you said before the cross country a top ten finish and you would regard that as sensational. Oh it was brilliant and and he jumped the best that he has done in ages and compared to the last three day event I did I had four down so I'm chuffed a bit second in my first four star. He's just and he's gone so well for me and he's been so honest. And it's not bad finishing second to someone no, exactly. like her, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you can't wish for anything more. No scriptwriter could have ever written a better story. A fairy tale ending for Pippa Funnel and a performance of the highest class from young 22-year-old Zara Phillips. From myself, David Goldstrom, and Ian Stark, thanks for joining us for what must be the best Burley ever.